no growl, just me, Basil Chaffin, sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien. <clears throat> We're looking at the Dow on this Wednesday, <clears throat> the 16th of August. The Dow is down 64 at 34,881. <clears throat> so I'll do this real quickly because we've been discussing this for quite some time. I use two moving averages as really important. Uh, it's, it's part of the package of all the different tools that I have. And this nine period moving average, when it goes green, it means that the price is very, whatever you're following is strong. When it goes pink, I can make it red. I make it pink because I don't want to interfere with the actual red bars, for the down bars. <clears throat> it means that you've probably gone from a, a sell signal to a sell mode. That isn't always the case. But look at this, <clears throat> the Dow, today's the first time that it's gone into the pink. And the day's young, anything can happen. But so far, that's what it is. All the others, S&P, look, here's the S&P. Oh, why does it keep slipping around like that? Come on. Jeez, what did I just do? Um, here we go. Let's get that back. If I can actually find it. Oh, there it is. One, two. Oh, then you don't need to see my background there. There you are. <clears throat> look, the, the, it, the Dow is down. The S and P. Next, there's the S and P. Pink for quite a few days. The QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle. Pink for quite a few days. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting. <clears throat> IWM. Pink for quite a few days. We can go gold. Gold's been down for quite some time. So this is really important um, in terms of just confirming what we've been looking at for some time. So let me just go through all the numbers here. Here's the Dow. I need to just get out of this. I'm not sure why. That showed up like that. And I want to go there. Okay, so what we're looking at is the Dow is down 76 at 34,870. Using this arch formation, you see, we started looking at this as a potential arch formation as a, and it's so fascinating how prices do that. Look how each high, as it got to this fourth highest peak, peak D, look how each one was just a little bit higher, then a little bit higher. <clears throat> and if you look at the uh, technicals, that nine period moving average was really strong. If you look at the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, it was showing that that high that was made right there on the uh, first, of, um, first of August, that wasn't quite as high as it was on the previous high. The stochastic was really strong, but it actually started to weaken. And then this blue line was right at a very overbought level. And using this particular technique, using just two or three techniques within the Chapman Wave smorgasbord of, of tools that we have, <clears throat> we actually went short right there on the 1st of August. But the reasoning was, Everything looks as if there was a short-term high and that if there was a pullback because of the width of this nine period moving average over the 14, it would take quite some time. It wouldn't just be, look at how, how much time it took and then it didn't even turn pink when the, the 34,588 high was made on the 16th of June using this one, one indicator and turned around and it did it a one-to-one, -one, perfect one-to-one -to, -one to the upside a uh, measured move from the 32,586 low of the 25th of May. We go to uh, less than, um, uh, just it's three weeks later, we go to the high of 34,588, pull back to the 33,610 uh, level, and then we scream up to 35,679. And look, even that, you remember that day, well, whatever day that was, it was the eighth, uh, let me just check what day it was. It was the 10th. On the 10th, we had that sudden, very sharp move to the upside. But even then, that nine period moving average was slowly diminishing the distance between the green nine and the 14 uh, period moving average. So now here's the thing. Finally, we've got this confirmation that the Dow has gone from a sell signal to an upgraded sell mode. That doesn't mean, oh my God, sell mode, now we're gonna go down another thousand, two thousand, three. It just tells you, it, desig it designates the tide, that now you're in this bigger tide, and now we'll see what happens. What's the, what the 50 period moving average? 
is right there at 34,682. I said, based on, uh, I show this to my subscribers every day, if I can actually find it, I did something crazy. Yeah, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> I said to subscribers to my opening call newsletter, um, this morning, I, this is the, one of the charts we send out. This is the Dow Daily. On the left side, it just has moving averages of the Chapman Wave notation. The middle one has automated Chapman Wave resistance support lines and the 120 minute chart. Look how many support lines there were, all the way to the 200 period moving average, which coincided with this red 34,894 uh, support level. And we are now trading at 34,791. We're under it. So that's the one thing that was really important in terms of how we can look at a rollover that can take time. Sometimes, look, the weekly chart hasn't even acknowledged a little dip. It's still extremely strong. So I've been saying for a while, it's the daily charts that we're looking at that are going to go from sell signal to sell mode. Let me just do the exact same thing on the others before we get to a break. Here we go, S&P. Same thing, down below the 50-period the moving average. MACD's weak. The stochastic is flat at 13%. That's not very positive. And the unbalanced volume is not even getting to oversold level. And you've got the pink 9-period moving under the 14. And all I can say is that that weekly chart is still strong, but finally the price has gone under the 9. It looks like it wants to test the 14-period moving average in the weekly chart, which is at right there 43.90 so that's only about 19 points lower and let's see what happens then the monthly chart on the right still very strong qqq let me just do this quickly because we've got a lot to discuss um peak d in the chapman wave we're always looking for that fourth highest peak that's where other things can happen well lo and behold the 38 387.98 on the i think it was around about the 17th 18th of july there's the QQQ, NDX 100 starts tumbling down, and now it's got this very big, almost pyramid shape in the daily. The weekly chart hasn't even given, we have to wait for Friday's close, so far hasn't even given a sell signal, and uh, the monthly chart is still looking very good. IWM, real quickly, the small caps, uh -uh, not good at all, down at 192 of 186.21, and the weekly chart, and we made a double, these double tops are unbelievable how prices get within one point and then turn down, even after months. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien and the Dow's down 153, S&P's down 27. Be back in a month.